Hey guys, Sax GFX here, and today I'm going to be doing a little quick tutorial on Matrix Extrude, which is the effect I usually use on logos, which is this little uh, curvy, like fingery thing. I don't know how to call what to call them, but it's just the little curvy, swirly things that go around the little plane, the little circle thing, or you can do it on anything. But anyway, let's just get into it. Um, let's close this down. Alright, first thing you're going to do is go fix up your view, so you're going to rotate that so the blue thing is, the blue line is on the green line and then just zoom out. Then you're going to go to your render settings, you're going to press save. Choose where you want to save that to, that doesn't matter. Just, just make tutorial matrix extrude, save. Uh, make it a PNG, alpha channel, should be all good. Alpha channel makes it so there's no black when you're rendering, if you didn't know that. You usually do straight alpha, but not today. Um, output, you're going to do 1280 by 720, which makes it HD and a bigger bigger image. That should be about it for the render settings. If you, Yeah, that should be it. Alright, now you're going to add a tube. You're going to hold, you're going to go to rotate tool, you're going to hold shift. And then you're gonna drag it, which locks it on every five degrees, so you can get it nice and exactly on nine degrees if you're holding shift. Then you're gonna go back to your move tool, just drag it up, zoom out a bit, yeah. Get it to a nice perspective where you want it to be. Then you're gonna click your tube, inner radius, make that about 180, so it looks like that. So yeah, it has just like a little little bit of a thing there. You can maybe do it 190 actually. Yeah, 190. Oh, actually no, I'll just go 185. <laughs> um, then you're going to go to your height. You're going to reduce that to about um, maybe 50. Yeah, 50. 50 is good. Then that should be good. Now, you're going to put a little... Um, Oh no, never mind. You're not going to put anything in the middle, actually. So you're going to go object, cap segments, make that about two, and rotation segments, make that about f 40. You always want it to be an even number, so you can select the right amount of the selection. I'll show you what that means later. I'll tell you later. All right. Anyway, <laughs> you're going to press right click and do make editable, or click C on your keyboard. Then you're just going to click this little, it's like four squares and the orange one on the top left is selected. You're going to click that. And this is the main part, probably. You're going to hold shift and do every second one. And you have to be holding shift so it selects more than one at a time. And you're just going to keep selecting. And with the whole making an even number, you can't select more than... You can't select it every second time if it's like 41 or else you'll have to have two and that it doesn't look right when you do that. Then you're just going to do this all the way around. Just It's not very hard at all. You just got to ro yeah, rotate, click, rotate, click, rotate, click. Same process. It's very easy to do this. Even Not many people know how to do it. There's not many tutorials about this on YouTube. All right. There we go, now you're going to zoom out, go back to the front, which is here. You always know which way the green arrow is facing is the front. Then, maybe go where you can see it, you're going to press structure, which is just here. Go down to the bottom, bit up from the bottom is matrix extrude. You're going to click that, then click and drag. And then it should do this nice little effect like that. You can make it bigger or smaller, but you're going to want to make it like that. If you can hear some background music on so Yeah, anyway, you're going to... Oh, whoops, stuffed it up. Control Z. Sorry, I've got to redo this. Much as you drag it to a way, probably about like that. And steps. A, I have it on A, but the more you do it, the more pointy and along the lines get and they go weird like that. I'm gonna go back to eight. I'm gonna go down to seven. I'm gonna go down a bit. Um that makes it more like stubby, just like little tiny ones. 
So you can do, and then I'll go back to eight. Gives it that nice effect. With move, if you increase the move to about five, all you see is it just brings it out a bit. So if I did that on 20, it like come, makes it come around. 50, so now it's all the way around like that. Looks a bit weird. Go back to zero for that. Then this move, if you put that on about 50, it just twists it all around and makes it all distorted and all that. It looks kind of cool actually. Go back to zero for that. And then this last one is how, wait, I'll go 50. It's how big the actual things are. Well, it's like steps, but it just increases the like size of it, and they're still the exact same amount of little segments, but but it makes it like what steps would do. So I'll put that on about 35. And there we go, it looks fine. Scale is pretty much exactly the same as the last one on move, it just makes them bigger. The first scale, second scale is how fat they are. You can make it look real fat by doing that. And weird effects happen here, just weird shit happens. Like that. That's actually, that's so weird, see? And it looks retarded. Go back to your matrix extrude. Oh, yeah, go back to your matrix extrude. I'll put that back on zero. Ah, oh, stuffed it up actually. Whoops. Anyway, yeah, that's how that works. Um. Whoa, what happened here? <laughs> Where's the fat one? Here it is, that's why. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't know what's happening there. Alright, see I've got a bit of a swerve going on there. It kind of looks nice. This, yeah, as I showed you before. This one, if you put that to about 180, it's not really anything. I have actually have not worked out what this is. This last one on scale, like even if you go to the back and just... I don't know what it is, it doesn't change anything. I think it, I don't know, I'm not sure what that does. Now, down to rotate. This one that's on 10 degrees, this is pretty much the way it folds around. Like if I put this on 50, it'll all curve in. If I put it on minus 20, it'll come around but to the front. That's pretty much that, put that back on zero. Oh, not on zero, it's on, probably put that on 20 so it's a bit folded around. Oh, yeah, yeah, leave it like that. The next rotate is the way that it twirls, if you know what I mean. You can make it look like a little ball if you do that, or just usually generally leave that on about one, or zero, or two, or whatever. Depends what look you're going for if you're making a logo. This one kind of, like twists and twirls the actual lines themselves like if you look here I'll take it to about 200 it's all twisty and twirly and everything <laughs> put that on zero or oh, maybe put that like that and there we go that's about that for that variation you just leave them and just per step and an initial yeah initial looks I, I don't mind initial it just kind of changes them all a bit but like you just got none. And then that's about it for the matrix extrude. You don't want to move any of the other settings down here and all that. Now, if you want to put something in the center, say your name. Oh, oh yeah. Also, if you want to try and move it, you got to select this little thing with the triangle in it. And then you can move the whole thing rather than each little segment. And you can scale it down and everything. Rotate and all that. Alright, what you're going to do is say you have something in here. <coughs> you like say you want something in the middle, so like I'll go my graph, my text. Where's that? There it is. Just add like a letter T. Oh, T for whatever. Tutorial or fax or something. Add a T, you just drag that sorry I keep hearing music because I was in a Skype call and something went weird anyway put this in the middle of that little and if in your extrude 
there we go that's in the center and oh no it's not <laughs> put that in the exact center right there and that should be all good and then maybe just change the font to let's say big macker good font put that there just lower the depth a bit maybe add a little material to make it like that a bit dark gray just leave it like that doesn't have to be exact you know see what that looks like in the render oh yeah it looks fine now um so you don't have in the render that transparency there you're gonna add a disc I'm gonna do your little shift rotate here I'm gonna put that at whoa it's gone crazy you don't know I'll do that again something's going weird here put that at about 90 which is right there drag that up drag it there I'm gonna just put it behind the T maybe about <laughs> like that yeah then you're gonna press scale make it bigger make it bigger 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 go exact on front side front on and you'll see it does a little it does a little thing like it's like a I don't know how to say that but when you're down here you're gonna find the, a good perspective so it looks good it looks fine actually gonna have to make that a bit so there we go that looks fine now looks like it's an actual part of an object now that's about it guys maybe add a light so it looks nice just a bit of detail light up there somewhere it looks fine it looks a bit bright actually at the moment it looks a bit weird but that's you add all your materials and everything and it should look good looks good actually I'll just put that on there for tutorial sakes looks fine you see you get that little fade effect which I'm not sure how to get rid of it does it the same even when you have the light lights and everything I'm not sure like see so you get on so the lights not visible oh no it's something to do with the light then it must be might put that light back on yeah yeah maybe you don't go lights with that anyway with if you guys have ordered a background and um it hasn't come i've had so many orders at the moment i'm on about 17 18 and it's just i've been slowly cutting them off because like i was about i was at about 25 yesterday and i've just been getting all the orders done as much as i can so you should be done soon i'm not sure i've just been trying to get a lot of them done at the moment this will probably be someone's logo maybe Oh, no, I do a lot of these little logos like that, but anyway, thanks for watching guys, have a nice day as always, and uh, subscribe, bye.